Half Hour of Flavor is presented by Para Indépendant. Welcome to Half an Hour of Flavor. My name is Maria. Bonjour, bienvenue à une demi-heure de saveur. Mon nom c'est Denise. Today we're going to do, um, we're, I'm working with my mother-in-law, she's replacing Pat, um, and we're going to be making something that is called sandwichon. Um, it's a thing we do in Mexico. Um, we do it for birthday parties, get-togethers, uh, any occasion. It's super, super easy. It's kind of weird because it's very different, but we're just gonna explain it really fast right now. using white bread. They sell the bread like that, ready to go, with no ends, no crust. That's exactly what we need. And there is one, two, three, four layers in here. No, three layers in here. And that's exactly what you would need. Or if you have some at home like that, you can just use that. So, and then for each of the layers, there's going to be three layers. One is going to be ham. So we're just going ahead and uh, put it into the Robocoop and on that another layer will be chicken. We went ahead and cooked our chicken. We're going to mix it as well to have like a nice consistency. And the third layer is cheese. Now you can use regular cheese if you like, like sliced cheddar mm -hmm. or Swiss, but this one works really well because it keeps the moist moisture. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to cover the whole thing like a cake with cream cheese. Oh, it's, go it's gonna be like a gift. Like a gift. Okay. Yeah, so you could do this for Christmas totally. Um, so I have a cream, cream cheese right here softening, that's all. And I added a little bit of um, heavy cream just to make it a little bit more um, liquid to be able to spread it. So we're going to start, we're going to build it in here with cutting our, the ends of the bread. Ok, je peux faire ça. Ok. Combien de tranches? Um, we're going to need three per layer, so we need about nine pieces, and we're going to go from there. And I'm going to start blending the chicken. I'm just going to go behind you and grab a bowl. I haven't actually made this for you before, right? Uh, no, je ne pense pas. Je me souviens pas. So it's new for, for you as oui, well. Oui, c'est tout nouveau. <laughs> we finally convinced her to uh, be on this side. She usually is on the other side helping us. So she finally said yes. We're like, yes, let's do it before she says no again. <laughs> Just cutting a smaller piece of chicken. T'as bien dit neuf, hein? Yes. And then we might need more, but we'll see after. Donc avec les croûtes, on peut faire euh, des euh, bread puddings. Oui. Yeah, or croutons. Yeah. Croutons. Yeah, you don't have to throw them out. That's true. But not today. <laughs> Just gonna put them aside. Aside. Okay. And then, while I do the chicken, I'll start you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll start you up on this side. Um, the ham we used it was just a nice piece of ham. We have it right here. And all we did was um, 
put it mix. in the yep. blender, Robocoop. So while I'm doing that, I'll get you to start putting this like that. So you want to do three, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna put uh, a little bit of mayo. Just mayo. Just mayo. No butter. No. Did I see the mayonnaise, Maria? Just a little bit more. And we'll spread it all over after. We're using chicken, ham, and cheese because it's three things that together go really well. Like Can a, we use a pork? You can use pork, you would use eggs. Do pork, eggs, and okay. cheese, or you can do any combination you like. Any three things that you like that work well together. Uh, lobster, uh, salmon. Tuna. Tuna, yeah. Peanut Anything butter. Like that. Peanut butter, jam, and cheese. No. <laughs> Well, I'm pregnant, so <laughs> my cravings are a little bit, um, yeah, I, I've been uh, liking peanut butter with cheese for some reason. All right, so we're good. That's good. So while we, we'll put that aside and we're going to mix our chicken salad and our ham salad. So for so, the, yeah, mayo. And for the ham salad, we're going to and do salt and pepper. No mustard. No mustard. No, I don't have any mustard. But that would be a good idea. For the chicken salad, we're going to do some green onions. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. So you're using chicken and... On peut ajouter du sel et du poivre. Mm -hmm. OK. I'll give you a little bit of green onion. And for the ham, I'm just going to do um, mayo, salt, and pepper. So we want it to really be moist, like mm -hmm. enough mayo, so that it can spread easily. So it's easier to Uh-huh. Okay, so we're going There we go. And I'm going to go into your bowl. Wait. Thank you. And then again, like you were saying, you can add mustard, you can add tarragon, you can add any kind of um, spice or flavor that you want. Mm -hmm. As long as you are keeping within like a um, team mm -hmm. of flavors, then you're good. Donc pour moi, ça c'est bon. A little bit more. Otherwise, what happens is it'll dry out, and then your sandwich will be like not as. Okay. Bon, je pense que c'est bon. Yes, that's perfect. Okay. Nous, quand on fait un mélange comme ça avec le jambon, on ajoute aussi de la relish. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Or like pieces of pickles. Oui. That's a good idea too. Avec un petit peu de jus de pickle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the smell of it because it's like um, smoked. Mm -hmm. It's really good. So then, yes, you go ahead. So you want me to spread the... Yes. The poulet. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to grab salt and pepper. If you want, do you want a spoon? No, actually, uh, you had a pitcher. Yep. In, in spatula. Right it's not that one, it was the smallest one. But oh. it's okay. <laughs> I'm okay. So you want to be generous with your topping as well. I'm just going to so try the ham. So you want me to put more, right? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> That is very good, the ham. So 
So how many uh, detached layers? layers? Um, so after that one, then cheese is next. Okay. And then ham. Oh, so we don't put any more cheese? No. Any more uh, chicken? chicken? No. Oh, okay. So you can use as much as you want on oh, that one. Oh, okay. I was saving some. For the next one. Oh, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start um, mixing the cream cheese while she does that. And like I said, I just took it out of the fridge for a little bit. And it's a little bit softer. It's not there yet. So Donc je mets les autres tranches? Oui. Then more mayo. And then more mayo. There we go. It's coming along. The little bit of um, cream helps it soften a little bit more and make become like a frosting. You just gotta keep on going. So the next one is the cheese. cheese. Mm -hmm. On top of the mayo. On top of the mayo. I'm gonna use a little bit more cream. Next to you, sorry. Thank you. So then again, this is completely to your liking. You just want to make it like a frosting. So if you feel like you need to add more cream, uh, make sure it's heavy cream. Just like too. icing a cake? Just like icing a cake. See, this special one was like Oh, okay. So I'm going to keep on doing this and we'll go to break. We'll stop right there and we'll come back. Hello, welcome back. So we are taking we're going back to where we left. So, Donc, uh, j'ai fini le fromage. And I finished mixing the cheese. Donc, je mets une autre couche de tranche de pain. Et un peu de mayonnaise. Right, Maria? Right. And for the cream cheese, the consistency we want is about that. You want it to be like nice, like a nice and fluffy, like a frosting. Otherwise, it'll be really hard to work with. As you can see, like it's nice and fluffy and soft. So we're gonna put it aside. That's looking good. It's getting higher and higher. Yeah. You can potentially go as high as you want, but I find like one layer of each of the ingredients is more than enough. Yeah, because uh, it has would to go be in your mouth. Exactly. And also like at, at home, they'll sometimes cut it into like little like fingers. Okay. Oh. And like serve it like that. Or triangles? Or in triangles, yeah. So I'm going to reserve a little bit of the cream cheese spread here, just because I want to do a nice border after, once it's decorated. Well, j'imagine que j'ai besoin de trois autres tranches de pain. So we needed 12 in the end. This would serve about, I would say, four people, five people. If you're serving a salad, or if you're serving it with something else. If it's just that, I would say three. <laughs> or just pregnant me, I would eat it. On aurait pu utiliser aussi trois sortes de pain. Yes, you can use the different kinds, yeah. I find that, I really like the white one because I find that the white one stays nice and um, 
moist, but yeah, definitely. Like a multi-grain one and a white one. Okay. So now that we're there, we're pretty much done with our layers. So what we do is we grab our frosting. And carefully, so it's, it's almost like frosting a cake where you don't want to like go too fast and then all your crumbs will be everywhere. So you're just gonna go lightly. If you want to do that. Oh, you want me to do that? Sure. Just fun. And while she's doing that, I'm just gonna move you to the side and I'll give you this. Okay. While she's doing that, I'm going to use do some stuff for decorating. So we're going to be using olives. I have to cover all the bread? All of it, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you think we'll need more frosting? No, but it's going to be very sticky when you eat it. Um, we put it in the fridge to set for a little bit, and then you're able to cut it. Once the cream cheese sets more, then everything solidifies. But yes, if you were to try and eat it right now, and what we normally do, we use a, an electric knife to cut it, because that's the cleanest, easiest cut you'll get. Otherwise, if you're using a bread knife, it would be like too much. You would kind of like ruin the cake. Uh, so, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to move you just for a few seconds. And for a few seconds. And there we go. So I'm going to use these olives because I love like that they're stuff and I love the different color. And all I'm doing is I'm cutting it in halves for some and some sliced. There we go. I want the ones that have like the, the center. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's but it's looking nice. The thing is that you cannot um, stress too much about having it perfect because it's not really about having it perfect. Oui, it's parce about... que après ça tu vas le couper. Uh-huh. Ça sert pas comme ça sur la table. Mm -hmm. Bon, je crois que c'est bien. Qu'est-ce que tu en penses? I think that's very nice. Are you going to do a bird? We're going to do, oh, it looks like I am, eh? <laughs> We're going to grab, we have pecans there, we have jalapeno there. Um, how about I do a fast order here? Cilantro? We no. have cilantro, yeah. So I'm just gonna do a nice little border, just for fun. And confuse people even more, they'll be like, oh, it's a cake. Wait, no, it's a Salty. It's a salty cake. But I like to just finish it off with a little bit something. Fancy, fancy? Mm hmm. I find that um, it'll surprise wherever you bring this, it'll surprise people. It'll be like, you did what? You mixed what with what? J'ai déjà vu cette recette, mais j'ai jamais goûté. Oh, really? Well, now you're going to have a chance to try it. So we could do, maybe, there, there. And then you can do, you can just go crazy and do whatever kind of decoration you like. And we can do some of these. You go crazy. I go crazy. <laughs> okay. C'est beau. And then you could put the the crushed ones. A bit ones. of crushed ones. Yeah, a bit of crushed on ones. Yep. On the sides. If you were to do um, chicken salad and uh, ham like this one, you could always 
decorate it as well with pineapple. Because chicken goes well, uh, pineapple goes well with chicken and ham. So that would be like a nice that combo. enough or you want to put some cilantro? Um, or you have enough? That's good. That's good? Okay. Uh, we can put this on the sides if you want. Okay. We can add more. Or we can eat them. Or we can eat them, that's true. Uh, what else do we have to decorate? Jalapenos. We can put a lot of, we're not going to put jalapenos today because you don't really like when it's really spicy. Mm -hmm. But we could, we could do jalapenos on top. Uh, what else can we do with it? Oh, we can do a, a single one. Like, let's say if you only wanted like a piece. Could you, we, could we do a round one? You could uh, do round? a round one. You would have to cut your bread almost if you were making a charlotte. So you would have to sand up your bread on the sides. Or take a um, pan of air, une uh -huh. le couper le pain en rond. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, and then you just do uh -huh. like individual uh -huh. ones. Uh -huh. That's a very good idea. Or you could do like a big um, cheat pan of uh -huh. these and then cut it into squares. Like if you're doing a big party, that would work as well. We're just going to put it in the uh, fridge for a little bit and then we'll show you guys how it looks after. Oh, where am I? Aha! Et voilà mon petit snack. J'avais faim. Ah. Là, on va le couper. Nous avons un, un couteau électrique. Juste faire bien attention, c'est très fragile. Et voilà. Toujours le premier morceau qui va être un peu difficile à sortir. Deuxième morceau. Hop. Et voilà. Alors, toujours faire certain que votre sandwich en est dans le frigo pour au moins une heure, deux heures, pour que le cream cheese euh, il prenne ensemble. Mais maintenant, on va, on va déguster. Ça, on va sortir plusieurs fourchettes. Et voilà. On va laisser ma mère déguster en premier. Oh, parfait, merci. Et voilà. C'est pour moi. C'est pour vous. Oh. Après ça. Pour vous. quelqu'un. Évidemment, une femme enceinte. Et c'est pour vous. Merci. Alors, voici le sandwich. Merci d'avoir écouté une demi-heure de saveur. À la prochaine.